need it. This is the biggest slime I've ever played. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be making slime. But it's going to be different than my other slime. The ways that it'll be different is this is going to be a borax method, not a baking soda. And I'm going to add food coloring to this one. And it's going to be a lot bigger batch because I'm going to be using four glue bottles. So let's get our ingredients. Whoa, how did these all appear? Let's get on with the video. First step you have to do is add all of your glue in. So I'm going to add my glue in. Let the time lapse start. I just dropped my glue. This is the last glue. So I finished putting all my glue in. Now I'm going to add the color. So as you guys can see, I have my food coloring here. And if you guys are wondering why there is no blue, that's because I used my blue on slimes that had failed. Yeah, because blue is my favorite color and I made like almost every slime blue. And at the end of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my slime collection. It's not big, but it's getting somewhere. So let's add the coloring. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what color I'm gonna use. So I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna like mix them and pick a color with my eyes closed. And I promise you, my eyes are, will be closed. Okay, so they're actually closed. I'm not lying. Whatever color I pick, I'm going. So I'm gonna pick two colors and then I'm gonna mix them together. So. Oh, green, I took green out, and uh, this color might be, I think it's going to, it may look ugly because, I don't know, my eyes closed, okay, let's look. Okay, so let's mix it. I'm going to go with this color. Red and green. Let's mix it in. So I switched the angle so you guys can see me mixing in. I'm going to do... Three drops of green and two drops of red. I love like just mixing it slowly to like make designs with it like this. But this is serious business. Ew, I see like brown with it, that's disgusting. I had to stop the camera because my little brother was eating spaghetti and he rubbed it all over his face and his feet. So my mom had to clean them off. It's like a really ugly brown. It prop see, it's like nude on the camera. So I'm gonna just add a lot of red to make it red slime because I already have green slime. And I will show you guys that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five. Okay, I just like squirt it <laughs> almost the whole thing in. That is a lot. Okay. So let's mix it. I love making designs. Like I said, I love making designs with it. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix it all in. Yes, it's turning red. This is like my only red slime that I have because I don't have red slime at all. So I'm gonna add a little bit more red because it's like a pink coral kind of. Okay, that that's a lot. It is now only up to here and it was um it, I think it was full at the beginning I don't know if it was full at the beginning but it was kind of full at the beginning okay guys so this is the darkest I think it's gonna get kind of the same let's move on change my mind it's not going to be regular slime I'm going to add some sweet pea foam soap now the next step is to add the sweet pea foam soap so let's Add it. I'm gonna do four squirts. That might have been too much. Four squirts because it's four slimes. Actually, I don't think this is too much. I think this is perfect, girl. And if you were wondering, the soap comes out white. It makes your slime lighter a little bit. Oh my god, it made the consistency like different. 
it's kind of more puffy, but kind of not. It's weird. It's not as puffy as it would get, but it does smell really good, actually. It, like, when you do this and just, like, sprinkle it over, looks like donut glaze. Next step is to make my borax solution. The first thing you'll need to make your solution, I think people, most people know how to make it, but just in case you don't, first thing you need to make your solution is a warm cup of water. So next, you get a tablespoon, and then you're just going to get a tablespoon, and then you're going to mix that until the borax powder dissolves. And then when you're done mixing it, you're gonna let it sit. So, let's get dancing. Yeah, it smells good. <laughs> if you guys are wondering why I'm not doing a gymnastics video, that's because I hurt my wrist when I was at my sister's soccer practice. Um, my cousin kicked the ball, and she's in high school, so she kicks hard, and I went to save it, and my wrist bent back, and it still hurts when I do gymnastics because I did a car wheel today, and my wrist, it felt like it just collapsed as I was in the middle, and it hurt really bad, so that's why I'm not doing gymnastics videos. Um, I might be doing a trampoline video on Saturday and I'm going to be do, trying slimy gymnastics but I'm going to have to do like one handed or easy skills okay so let's get back to the slime our solution is done now we're going to add it in slowly and I'm not going to do it by tablespoons because like five tablespoons for one bottle of glue doesn't even work and it's just bad so See the slime's like that. It's coming together, but it's not even close to being done. Like, no. Okay, so we're gonna mix this glue and foam soap and borax solution together. I'm just gonna add more. And make sure you add it in slowly, or else that can ruin it. I'm not sure how, but I was told that, so. Oh, <laughs> that made it raise a lot. I'm gonna mix it like this, like a turning wheel. I'm gonna mix it every way, it doesn't matter. Getting very clumpy, as you guys see. Keep mixing. Okay, I'm going to add more borax solution. Oh, that was... Whoa, that looks so cool. It's like I added the borax solution, and it's like it gets it see-through. It's like I can see inside my slime. Whoa, that's so weird. Okay, it closed up. <laughs> okay, so as you guys can see, it's getting very clumpy, and it's like bending the knife. So I'm just gonna start going in with my hand. So put this knife on my napkin. Okay, made it safe. Let's go in with my ew, it's like there's a lot of glue still in here. This is only clumpy. This is weird. Just look at this, like okay, let's add more Bora. Whoa, it's see through again. That's cool. Oh, so clumpy. You know what I realized about borax slime? It's like, it's not really stretchy, and then it's like you have to let it sit out for a little bit to get stretchy. Because I made a green, like a dark green slime, and it wasn't stretchy at all, and I was going to throw it out, but then I just let it sit out because I forgot about it, and now it's like really stretchy. It's weird. Let's, this brass is making it rise and it's like overflowing in the bowl. I might have to get a bigger bowl. So I'm mixing it and it's like, I think that this bowl might overflow, but 
first going to have to deal with this bowl because I like no more. I used all of them because there's not really a lot of containers that have lids. I don't even know if this one has a lid. But, oh, it's kind of getting there, but it's not because the bottom is still very gooey. going to add some more. Okay, I don't know if that's enough. I'm just going to rub it all over the top. Oh, the board's slashing everywhere because I tried to do some puka lays. Oh, it's getting there. This is like really pink. I might take it out. Or I might just mix it a little bit more. I'm going to mix it a little bit more. This is really big and it hurts your arm. And this is only four. Imagine doing a gallon. What would a gallon feel like? Oh, it's so way too sticky. I'm going to poke it and it brings it all up. And I'm not even doing it slow, like poke <laughs> does it. Okay, maybe that's because I have had glue all over my hand and it's collecting the glue to bring into the slot. Collect all my glue. Oh, my arm is so dance breathing. Look how big this is. Nope, still sticky. Still sticky. Like this. It's very stretchy. But I don't want it to be sticky. Way too sticky. And imagine getting this on a couch or something. My mom would kill me if I got this on a couch. Oh, this might overflow. I'm very scared because I accidentally put a lot of borax in. And I shouldn't have because it's almost done. I might have just overacted. Like you see all that borax? And it's not that much, the slime just makes it look like a lot. <laughs> but it's wet. It's a wet slime now. Like, look, you can see that it's wet. I'm going to use this hand, too. Because I hurt this wrist, and it's starting to hurt a little bit from mixing this. Actually, really heavy. <laughs> wet from the borax. Oh, it's still really stretchy. I didn't overactivate it. I might have just a little bit, but that's fine. Okay, like this is a really good slime. So I took it out of the container, and I'm not really sure if it's still sticky. Let's see. Cracks. Oh, it's still a little bit sticky. I'm not sure if I should fix it because I'm scared I'm going to overactivate it. So I'm just going to add however much this is, because I know that this is not a tablespoon, it's way more. Oh no, it's spilling on the counter, it's spilling on the counter, okay, mix, mix, mix. My mom will kill me if she sees it on the counter. I'm lucky that she just walked out, because she was getting my baby brother bottle. Okay, it's not sticky anymore, really, like, just collect everything that went on the counter. It's a little bit sticky, but this is... I'm not going to add any more. I do not want to overactivate it. This is the biggest slime I've ever made. Whoa! And maybe even the rest. I wish I had model magic so I could make butter slime. <laughs> it's still sticky. But it's fine. It's not really that sticky. But I don't want to overactivate it. Because it's usually I make really sticky slimes. Or like stickier than this or it's just it's all over activated and it's really 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 bad so i don't want to over activate it so i'm just going to keep it a little bit sticky i threw almost most of my other slimes out because that is when my mom didn't like me making slime she still doesn't like me making fun but that's when she hated it like now my mom kind of likes it but when she hated it, she wouldn't even let me use a jar like or a container that we didn't even use. That's how much she hated it. But I got her one day to play with one of my slimes, and now she doesn't really care. But she just doesn't like me using the borax a lot because, well, because it's a chemical, and there were stuff on the news saying that kids got burnt from it from using too much. 
so that's why my mom doesn't like Borat. Let's get into some ASMR. Sorry if you can't see the whole thing. I have nobody to record me. So let's do the pokes. Okay, the pokes are good. Now let's do the cracks. Great, I'm out of focus again. I wonder how long that's been going on for. Whoa, the may the cracks are not the best, but they're not the worst. I'm lucky that there are some. I decided to add more borax into my slime because it was just way too sticky. I'm just gonna do it like this. Okay, that's a really small swirl, but it'll last, okay. There's like no cracks, but there's some cracks when you make bubble. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys my whole, all of my slimes. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna show you guys all of my slimes. First slime I'm gonna show you is a very bad slime. This slime is not stretchy at all. It smells like sweet pea and it's like a light pink. It smells like, oh, it's kind of stretchy, but not really. So it smells like sweet pea because I added the foam soap and lotion to this. I added way too much foam soap in this one. It doesn't even poke, like, and it's not even anything. Like, it's just a bouncy ball. Like, if I roll this up, I bet you it would bounce, let's see. Yup, it bounces. It bounces. This is terrible slime. And uh, I tied in that jar. So, next slime I have is this little, I only used half of the bottle on this one. I'm not sure. Ow, my fingers. Okay. It's hard to get. Ugh. Okay, so. As you guys can tell, I only used half on this. This one is pretty stretchy. And it's like, I think this one would bounce too. Yup. This one bounces too, but this one's better than that light pink one I just showed you guys. Look. Ah. <laughs> okay. Whoa, that cracks. <laughs> that, was, that crack was up. Well, my next one is this blue one and some it cracks like this is really good slime like, uh, but it doesn't like drape down that's what i like about it like when you do this it won't just all fly down and that's the thing i like because like you can control it yourself and it won't just like go everywhere so that's the thing that i like about this blue slime so my next slime is this Green one. Oh, it has air bubbles. Let's do the air bubbles. Yeah. I love doing those air bubbles. So this one is kind of like the pink one. But the pink one is a lot more stretchy. Oh, never mind. I don't even know. They're kind of the same. But this is just the dark green one. This is like the dark green one. And it doesn't have loud pokes. Not that good at cracking. Kind of, but not really. Okay, so it is all of my slime. As I told you guys, I don't have a lot. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you guys would like to see more upcoming videos from me, make sure to like this video, turn my post notifications on, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.